All right, so this is the basics of setting up your hitbox for Slippy. Um, not a Smashbox, not a cross but a hitbox. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to go to Slippy.gg, download everything there, get everything set up. Um, and the next thing you want to do is open up uh, joy.cpl. You can go to your Windows search bar, uh, type in joy period cpl. This should pop up, uh, open it up. And what we're going to do is this, we're going to use this to test to see if the hitbox is working on our PC. So right now I'm going to plug in my hitbox. We got the little ding there. We got to be quick. Okay, we're good to go. What we're going to do is double click on here, and we're just going to press some buttons. So we see here that the D-pad is doing its job. Are the buttons doing anything? Yep. We got all buttons working. So we confirmed that the hitbox works so on the PC, so that means it should be working on or should be read by Slippy. Uh, what we're going to do now is we go to the Slippy window here, open up controllers. Now, typically all these will have GameCube adapter for Wii U for all these. I selected these three for none, and the first port I set selected to standard controller. Now what we'll do here is we will go in and configure. Um, you want to, you probably won't, it will probably won't pop up at first, so if you want to open this up, you want to refresh, and then select the X input. Um, that is what the Xbox 360 for Windows is, is X input. And what we'll do here is I have this set up for cross-up stuff, um, but I need to set it up for hitbox stuff. So what I'm going to do is basically <clears throat> these buttons here relate to what it will output on the GameCube controller. But we do not have access to right stick stuff, so we're going to kind of ignore this. Triggers we can still do. D-pad we're going to have to get rid of. So to get rid of the D-pad here, right click it, Clear, apply, okay. I believe you can just hit okay, it should be fine. I just want to clear these out just so there's no type of line in here and they don't potentially confuse things. <clears throat> now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna sort of emulate what I have on my cross up here, so I'm gonna click that. And I'm just clicking on here and then I'm pressing the button that I wish that I want, you know, for example, Z to be here. And then start. Now the control stick sticks part, uh, the control stick part is going to be uh, pretty interesting because we do not have an analog stick, we don't have D-pad inputs. So what will end up happening is this control stick will have to be D-pad and then we'll have to use this modifier option here. So to start this off, click here, this is up on D-pad, down on D-pad, left on D-pad, right on D-pad. North, south, west, and east. Now what I'm going to do here is, what a modifier will do is basically give you a, a, half, <clears throat> a half direction, roughly half direction, of what you're initially going to put in. So we can see here, this left is going all the way left. This right is going all the way right. This up all the way up. Down all the way down. I'm going to apply a modifier here. On, so I click this and I just press the button on my hitbox. And now when I hold that button and click one of the directions, it will showcase where the input's going to be put, the red, and where it initially would have been that gray. So now I have that those tilts. I believe in the future you might have to actually actually uh, mess with this radius here to get better uh, better tilts. We'll test it out, but this is just the basics here. Right here, uh, I'm not going to mess with that ASC stick stuff, um, so I'm just going to clear this all out. Right click, clear, okay, right click, clear, okay. And that should be it. If you want, you can type in something there and save it, and you'll be good to go. 
uh, and you can just load it up in the future if you are con consistently changing uh, controllers. So we're going to close out of here, close out of here, and we're going to open up.